Hello and welcome back to Nim Podcast. My name is Nima and in this episode I'm going to show you how to format and reset your MacBook Air to the factory setting just like it was when you bought it. First of all you need to um, disable or unauthorize um, some few things I'm going to show you. First of all, you begin with iTunes. Um, the language of my MacBook is Norwegian, but uh, it's the same thing that I'm explaining in English. You have to go to your account and sign out. I never use iMessage on my MacBook, but you can also go there and sign out from your account on your MacBook. Then you need to go to System Preferences. This MacBook is already updated to new Mac OS, Montanary, and it looks like different, but it's the same basic thing. You need to go to um, Apple ID, but before that, you need to sign out or disable um, finding MacBook. I'm going to write my password. And mail iCloud as well and iCloud Drive. If you want to have a backup, you just, again, it's Norwegian, but it means that you need a backup or a copy of your information. If you don't want to, and in this case, I'm going just to sell this MacBook so I don't need it anymore. So just delete everything and um, stop updating. Then I need to go to overview and simply sign out. Then you need to uh, shut down your MacBook. And now you need to start again. And when you start, you just need to hold the command button and the R button at the same time. So we're going to do that. And you hold it and wait. until you see the Apple logo, which is try to install something. It's going to load the recovery system. Yes, I needed to give my password to go into the next page. I can use the time machine, which I don't like to. I can reinstall Mac OS Montanary again, but I'm going to click on this one, which is utility in English and continue. Okay, well, I needed to figure it out a few things um, in this page. Um, now I'm on the Mac OS base system, which is the system, the MacBook, the Mac OS use for loading this recovery system. 
but it's not the actual hard disk or hard drive but this one is the one that I'm going to use Macintosh HD which is the hard drive or hard disk and now you can see I get this option here to erase or format my uh, hard drive. This option is not available, it's not active when I clicking on Mac OS base system. So we click on Macintosh HD and then I'm going to erase and now I have to choose the right format for erasing or formatting this hard drive I just going to leave it here I'm not going to change it which is APFS system and click on erase it maybe take a while and I am patient and we're going to wait Now the hard drive is successfully deleted and formatted. I'm going to click on finish. And now what we need here to do is click on um, this X, close the page and reinstall the Mac OS. It also will take a while. Then I have to accept the program license agreement. I agree. I have to choose the Macintosh HD again and click on continue and it's going to take two hours and 17 minutes so we will be back after two hours So as you can see, everything is reset, not back to the factory, interestingly, but back to the um, last version of Mac OS uh, that installed on this system. But it looks like that it's reset to the factory. So you have to um, reconfigure or configure everything from the beginning and it's ready to go. So thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope that it helps you to reset your MacBook Air. See you next time. Bye bye.